Everybody, this is Brother Brennan coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas with another daily Bible reading. And if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Nehemiah and we will pick up from where we left off. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of, Hel of ha Hakaliah. And it came to pass in the month, Kislu. In the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said, they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity, their captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also was broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth co covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes be open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now day and night, for the children of Israel thy servant, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very cor corruptly against thee, and have not kept... <clears throat> the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses. If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the, of the heaven, Yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name and prosper i pray thee thy ser i pray thee thy servant this day and grant him mercy in the sight of this of this man for i was the king's cupbearer nehemiah chapter 2 <clears throat> and it came to pass in the month nisan in the 20th year of artaxerxes the king that wine was bef before him and I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my count why should not my countenance be sad when the city the place of my father's sepulchres lieth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. <clears throat> then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said, I said unto the king, If it please the king, and if thy servant have found favor in thy sight, that thou wouldest send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, For the queen also sitting by him, For how long shall thy journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me. <clears throat> and I sent him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. And a letter unto Asaph, the keeper, 
the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertain to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according to the to the good hand of my the good uh, the good hand of my God upon me. <clears throat> and then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. When Sanballat, the Honorite, and Tobiah, 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 the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceeding, exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me, neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast, beast with, with me, save the beast I, that I rode upon. And I went out by night, by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to do, and to the dung port, and view the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. <coughs> Then went I up in the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. <clears throat> Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's word that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands, <clears throat> for this good work. But when Sanballat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem, the Arabian, heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us, and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we, his servants, will arise and build but ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. Nehemiah chapter 3 Then Elisha, Elishab, the high priest, rose up with his brethren, the priests, and they builded the sheep gate. They sanctified it <clears throat> and set up the doors of it, even unto the tower of Mia. They sanctified it unto the tower of Hananiel. And next unto him builded the men of Jericho, and next to them builded Zakur, the son of Imri. But the fish gate did the sons of Hassanah build, who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Miramoth, the son of Uriah, the son of Koz. And next unto them repaired Meshulam, the son of Barakah, the son of Meshbeel. And next unto them repaired Zadok, the son of, of Bana. And next unto them the Tekoites repaired, but their nobles put not their necks to the work of their Lord to the work of their Lord. Moreover, the old gate repaired Yehorda, the son of Pesia, and Mashulam, the son of 
Bezriodah, they laid the beams thereof. <coughs> And set up the doors thereof, and the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And the next unto them were paired Melataha, the Gibeonite, and Yadon, the Meronite, the men of Gibeon, and of Mitzpah, unto the throne of the governor on this side the river. Next unto him repaired Utsil, the son of Heriah, of the of the goldsmiths. Next unto him also repaired Hananiah, the son of one of the apothecaries, and they forfeited Jerusalem onto the the broad wall. And unto the ne and next unto them repaired Raphia, the son of Hur, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. And the next unto them repaired Yadiah, the son of Harumaf, Harumaf, even on, well, even over against, <clears throat> even of over against his house. And next unto him repaired Hattush, the son of Hashpenah, and Melchiah, the son of Har, of Harim, and Hashub, the son of Pathath Moab. Repaired the other piece and the tower of the f furnaces, and next unto him repaired Shalom the son of Haloesh, the ruler of the half half part of Jerusalem. He and his daughters, the um, the valley gate repaired Hunan and the inhabitants of Zona. They built it and set up the doors thereof. The locks thereof and the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall unto the dung gate. But the dung gate repaired Melchahah the son of Rechab, the ruler of the ruler of part of Beth Hasrim. He built he built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shalom the son of Kahoza. The ruler part of Mitzpah, he built it and covered it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Siloha by the king, the king's garden, and onto the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him repaired Nehemiah the son of Azbuk, the ruler of the half part of Bethzur unto the place over against the sepulchres of David, and to the pool that was made unto the house of his of his mighty. <coughs> After him repaired the Levites, Rehum, the son of Bani. Next unto him repaired Hashbahiah, the ruler of the half part of Kaliah in his part. After him repaired their brethren, Bavi, the son of of Hendad, the ruler of the half part of Kaliah, and next to him repaired e Ezer, the son of the son of Jeshua, the ruler of Mitzpah. Another piece over against the going up to the armory, at the turning of the wall. After him, Baruch, the son of Zabai, earnestly repaired the other piece from the turning of the wall onto the door of the house of. Elisha the high priest. After him repaired Meramoth, the son of Uriah, the son of Kuz, another piece of the door of the house of Elishab, even to the end of the house of Elishab. And after him repaired the priests, the men of the plain. After him repaired Benjamin and Hashub over against their house. And after him repaired Azari the son of Mesiai, the son of Ananiah by his house. After him repaired Benui, the son of Hinadad, another piece from the house of Azariah, unto the turning of the wall, even unto the corner. 
impale the son of Uzziah over against the turning of the wall and the tower which lieth out from the king's high house. That was by <clears throat> the court of the prison. After him, Piediah the son of Parush. Moreover, the Nethinims dwelt in Ophel, unto the place over against the water gate toward the east, and the tower that lieth out. After them, the Tekoites repaired another piece over against the great tower that lieth out, even unto the wall of Ophel. From above the horse gate repaired the priests, every one over against his house. After them repaired Zadok, the son of Emer, over against his house. After him repaired also Shemiah, the son of, of Shechaniah, the keeper of the east gate. After him repaired Hananiah, the son of Shelmiah, and Hunan, the sixth son of Zalif, another piece. After him repel, repaired Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, over against his chamber. After him repaired Malchiah, the goldsmith's son, unto the place of the Nethinims, and of the merchants over against the gate, Mifkad, and to the going up of the corner. And between the going up of the corner unto the sheep gate repaired the goldsmiths and the merchants. Nehemiah chapter 4 But it came to pass that when Sanballat heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he, sm and he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jew what do these what do these feeble Jews will they fortify themselves will they sac will they sacrifice will they make an make an end in a day will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him and he said even that which they build if a fox go up he shall even break down their stone wall here O oh, our God, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee, for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So built we the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half <coughs> thereof for the people had a mind to work and it came to pass that when Sambalot and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashtolites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped when they were very then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made a prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversaries said, they shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst of, among them, and slay them, and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times, From all places whence ye shall, went, ye shall return unto us, that they will be upon you. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places, I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked up, I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord which is great and terrible, and, f and fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. <coughs> And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had 
brought their counsel to naught, that we return all of us to the wall, every one unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears, the shields, and the bows, and the habergeons, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which builded on the wall, and they that bear burdens with with those that laded, every one with of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders every one had his sword girded by his side, and so builded. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large. And we separate upon the wall one from another. And what place, therefore, ye hear the sound of the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spear from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at that same time, said I unto the people, Let every one with his servant lodge with Jerusalem, within Jerusalem, that in the night... They may be a guard to us and labor on the day. So neither I nor my brethren nor my servants nor the men of the guard which follow me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that every one put them off for washing. All right, guys, that's probably going to be it for today. I hope this is a blessing to you. Uh, please pray for me and my ministry. Pray. Pray for the reading of the word as well as for the preaching of the word. Um, pray that God will take these videos and do with them as he wills and as he pleases. <coughs> um, if you guys like what I'm doing, you can go to YouTube and type in Fishers of Men, Brandon, Fishers of Men, Men uh, Fishers of Men, Brandon Swanson. I should probably be the first one that pops up. If not, you may have to scroll down uh, a little bit, but you can feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you want any and all updates to new videos that I do, just hit the notification bell and click on the all button. That way you won't miss a single update. And um, if you guys want to, you can feel free to check out my Facebook. You can add me on Facebook and tune into the live videos. Or if you don't want to do that, um, I do have Sermon Audio. You can go to SermonAudio.com and just type in the search bar and top Fishes of Ministries. I should be... I should pop up there. Um, all the videos that I've that I've did as per preaching and reading the Word of God should all be up on there. So feel free to check that out. And um, other than that, that's going to be it for now. Um, I love you guys. God bless you. You guys have a great day. Have a blessed Sunday, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Bye.